I have produced both a film poster and film review alongside my short film, which all come together as my final project. My products all share similar features in that they all aim to attract the same target audience of young adults, thus holding my target audience's interest. I used images and pieces of film that all included both the loving side of the previous relationship a lesbian couple once shared. This links them all as well as the quotes between the film review and the film poster. As if they did not match, it would not make sense as the quote on the poster says it was from Empire magazine, which is what I based my review off of. My short film demonstrates my quote, the most shocking ending of a short film this year, as the ending leaves my audience on a cliffhanger to imagine how they want the storyline to come to an end, which is the shock factor itself. All three of my products contain the same title and actors and colour scheme, linking them through their visual factors and bringing them all into the same genre category of social drama as the scenes are dimly lit and solemn. My film review is used so that the audience are able to establish what my short film is about, giving a short summary and review without giving too much away to the point where the audience do not need to watch it, but instead in intrigues them to watch it. I also used my film posters to establish the genre of my short film, as well as using the opacity tool to fade out the character on the right to indicate that the couple in the image are no longer together. The dark colour scheme in all of the images used shows the film genre throughout all the pieces. My film review evaluates features of my short film based on storyline, editing and audience captivation. My film poster uses genre iconography to establish the genre and message my short film is used to portray. For example, the use of the simple layout and main image with little editing represents the realism that my short film aims to be about. This is also evident in other social drama film posters, such as Short Term 12 that uses a simple image and simple font in a normal layout, yet it is effective in representing the hardship that the film is really about. The title of my short film, along with its tagline, do not give away the storyline, but instead create enigma codes, making the audience want to watch my short film to understand the meaning behind the title and tagline. My products, together, put forward real-life issues in gender and sexuality, but do not show the audience these stereotypes, yet convert them and show my audience why people's sexualities do not affect them, but instead real-life issues in any relationships do, therefore making different sexualities more normalised to my audience. My film poster and film review give the audience key information on my film using the billing block and actors' names at the top of the poster to give our audience an idea of the quality based on the producers and famous actors. This is called star marketing. This is evident also in my film review where the director's name and cast's names are just below the title. My film review focuses on the main unique selling point of my short film, which is its use of characters of a gay sexuality but the short film not being based on their sexuality, instead real life issues that any sexuality couple would face. This allows my audience to create their own ideas and views on why not all short films with gay characters are executed in this way. My short film is most likely to appear online on platforms such as YouTube or Vimeo, as these are free viewing sites and allow many people to access it easily. My short film may also be shown at small film festivals such as IndieFest, where my short film will be more widely seen by not only my target audience, but many more. This would also increase my marketing, as if people from these festivals liked it, they would tell others. My film review will appear in more specific places, such as film magazines like Empire, and this will be a very niche part of my target audience, as people who buy these magazines are specifically interested in the cinematography and production of short films.